Hi YouTubers, Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. I know I keep introducing myself even for people who know me, but I don't know. I was going to read to you uh, more of this. I've been feeling quite guilty about not reading to you. It's testing the validity of the International Atomic Energy Agency. Uh, we're on 2.3.4. I'm not going to read to you tonight. Uh, it's almost, it's quarter to three in the morning. I finished work about an hour and a half ago. To be honest, I was going to read. Here, let me fix this. Hold on. I was going to read. But then I started ranting and I decided to end it because I don't want to say everything that I said there. Because we do live in a fascist state. Let's just be very clear, folks. The war is on and we are the enemy. Uh, and they don't even care what we do. Like, this is the reality. We need to be listening. To, when I heard Levi Halevi's interview with uh, Bruce Cagnon, 10-8-2016, please listen to it. It is one of the most important interviews you will ever hear. It's shocking. Uh, when you comprehend that the government, the secret deep state, however you want to call it, the industrialized military complex, the Illuminati, like that, that whole gang of criminals who are like, you know, let me fix my scarf. They're like, they don't give a fuck what we do. They're taking over outer space. What I heard that on the heels of listening to Jules's program today. Did you guys listen to Jules's program today? First cup in the morning. Oh my God! Let me go there. Let me go. Let me go there. Hold on just a second. This what? This what? This is the very issue that made me like ditch my last attempt at posting a video. But Jules taught, if you are not listening to Jules' show at least twice a week, three times a week, you cannot claim to be informed. I'm just going to put it to you like that, very simply. Before the First Cup is the name of Jules' show. She's the producer of the... Actually, she's the owner of UCY TV. And it's not a space between TV. I just noticed that. I've been putting it wrong. UCY TV, all one word. Before the first cup, you know what the title of her show was today? Space for Commercialization, National Security, and Warfare. Uh, and in Levi Halevi's interview, you know what she's, the Bruce Gagnon said? The United States' purpose, stated purpose, is to be the controller of outer space. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. The United States owns everything. No other country, no other people, no other purpose without the complete consent of the United States. Do you know what that is? That is the definition of fascism, folks. That is not national security. I have to take my glasses off. It's driving me crazy to look at the glare. That's not national security. Uh, that is fascism. And we need to have learned the lesson of World War II. Unless... The fascists moved into our own government. And that is precisely what we have found. And uh, unfortunately, Dwight Eisenhower wasn't willing to take a bullet because he didn't want to be silenced. He was attempting to tell us what did happen. They took over, folks. And they are taken over. Except that they are us. The people that pull the trigger, it's our children. It's our people. We have to talk to our children, tell our children, no, we are not going to take arms against our, our neighbors. No. 
We're going to figure out a way to discuss things. We are not going to kill people. We are not triggering bombs. We're not going to just blow up whole fucking neighborhoods like we are allowing to happen in Aleppo and Gaza, all over Africa, or, or starve people out. You know, the Chinese, you know how the Chinese have gotten strong? By being kind, like the United States used to be. Oh, the United States most generous people in the world. Really? Go tell that to the Haitians. Clinton and Bush went over there, begged for money, got millions of dollars. You know how much went to the Haitians? Pract I think it was less than 10%. It's an outrage. And yet, this country is acting like Hillary Clinton, who stole the nomination from Bernie Sanders. It is not a rumor. It is not like, oh, do you think that might have happened? Oh, really? No, Greg Palast, investigative reporter. It, also another person you need to be listening to. Greg Palast, investigative reporter, has proven unequivocally by looking at millions and millions and millions of documents, documents, documents. He has a group of people. They have verified the information. And there is straight out election fraud. And they can rig the machines 30 to 40, 20 to 30 percent. I beg your pardon. 20 to 30 percent. Now, we know they did that with Bernie. We know there was millions of votes not counted for Bernie. Bernie won hands down. I read a, 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 the verified investigation of it said it was like 172 uh, delegates. Let me see how much time I've taken. Hold on. I can't see the time. Six minutes. Great. You know what hit me today? I wonder if the DNC didn't like hack the GOP primary. Because, think about it folks, Trump is the only, the only candidate that any Republican would vote against. They would not vote against Marco Rubio. They would not vote against like those other, I don't even remember their fucking evil names. I, nope, no offense to the Republicans, but I don't like the Republicans. Because Republicans do not respect sexual freedom. Republicans are the biggest hypocrites. The pedophiles that get arrested are mostly Republicans, registered Republicans, wife beaters, registered Republicans. These are the facts. That's the reality. So Republicans act like being a tough guy. Like this is another video that every American male needs to watch. It's by, I think his name is Mark Katz or Stephen Katz, K-A-T-Z. That's the last name. The movie is Tough Guys, G-U-I-S-E. Every American male and female adult ought to watch this movie. It will change your life. I'm just going to tell you that. We have no concept in America. We have been seriously manipulated to be mind-fucked. I'm going to ask all of my uh, viewers that have any kind of spiritual belief to pray for my friend in St. Louis because she needs our help and she is very ill. She has been affected by radioactive waste all of her life. Uh, I'm not going to... If you want to... Uh, she's someone I interviewed from St. Louis. I'm not going to say her name. If you want to put two and two together, that's up to you. But she's had trouble having children. She's had problems. She has pretty serious heart problems right now. She stopped breathing last week for several minutes. They had to rush her to the hospital. She's in a lot of pain. I believe that she's going to get better and healthier. I saw a picture of her today for the first time. Radioactive waste kills in a cruel manner. It affects all harm, and guess what? We are all glowing. I really firmly believe we're going to find an answer and restore our planet. And I think it will come from the earth and come from love. Like, love creates itself.
That's the thing. Love creates itself. So the more we love, the more we can create. And that's kind of what like fission does. Fission creates it like. So if we, I don't know how to express that. I think that's what hope is. It's like you just decide you're going to keep, keep going and keep expanding. Anyways, I'm going to post this up. I wanted to post a video and tell you that I'm sorry I haven't read in a couple of days. We are on the analysis of the third group of people, the nuclear scientists, but I honestly can't read it tonight. The radio show is on in a few hours, actually. It's 3 o'clock in the morning right now. Uh, the number is, what is it, 718-717-8296 uh, if you want to give me a call. Dana Dernford will not be joining me. Please do light a candle for all of the people suffering in St. Louis and from the Manhattan Project Waste and from the uranium, from the lies of the nuclear industry. There's much suffering going on, many bombs being dropped, lies and hatred. I don't know, you guys. We can't keep doing it. And you know what? We don't have to accept it. We get to... Or do we? I can't say that. It's grim. It is very grim. And for people to not take this time seriously and to get angry about Trump or Clinton, like they're both the two sides of the same fascist coin friends, they're best friends. Trump is not an answer. You think Trump is going to say anything? Mm. Even if he did, guess what? He'd have a bullet in his back. So guess what? It, and then they would make it look like an accident or a heart attack or whatever. You know, I mean, it could be that Hillary Clinton's already dead and this is her body double. Then right after the election, boom, she's going to die. And oh, you'd never know the story. Rewrite history. It's his story, right? Anyways, I... I, I'm posting this because I want people to pray, <laughs> really. I want us to pray for each other, and I want us to, like, believe that we can make it through this time. Because we're here on purpose, or whatever this is in here, it doesn't go away with this, like, shell that we live in. And these things that are up here, we have like a machine in our head we barely use because we're so afraid of using it. All we have to do is release ourselves from the fear. And then we get that. Peace on earth. I don't know. I'm going to end here, you guys. I really am going to end here. I'm not going to keep on. It's 1320. It's also 305 in the morning. Uh, hopefully you'll join with Join me on the Age of Vision radio show. Please do call in. Somebody who's never called in, I would love that. I'm going to stand five more minutes to put this up. Uh, put your courage feet on, you guys. And you know what? Your breastplate of courage, as the Bible says. And you're out. Remain true to yourselves. And let's be our true, fabulous selves. Let's release our fears so we can use that 80% mouse that we're not using, eh? Love is greater than fear. Happiness is resistance, right? Happiness is resistance. Happiness is resistance. <laughs> Ciao.